Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Ward Shield. Now, if you're looking to make a melee build, then you're going to want this shield. This is the height of Terramorphous in Borderlands 3 right here. So let's jump into the video and show you guys how to get it. Alright, so what you're going to do is head over to Eden 6 at the Floating Tomb. Uh, you get here once you push far enough in the main story, and uh, we're going to be farming Grave Ward today. So I'm going to head down and try to farm that shield. <laughs> Alright, no first run, so I'm gonna keep farming and try to get it. Run 13. Maybe. And there it is. Oh, we got a really bad one, but there it is. So, this is the ward, and it can have really good void damage or pretty low. I've seen it with 180% and also 300%. And yeah, ideally you want to get the 300% one. Anyways, roid ward. Capacity, pretty high. Recharge delay, low. That's good for a roid shield. Recharge rate, fair. Red text is free me master, see me shiver. 25% weapon damage when shield is depleted, 80% melee damage when the shield is depleted, and 2% max health per second when shields are active. Alright, since we got a really bad one, I want to show you guys what kind you can get if you're lucky. Uh, I should have it down here somewhere. There it is. The Brawler Ward. You can see for the modifiers on the shield we have Ward and Double Roid. And 300% melee damage, even better. Also, on top of that, it is anointed for the Siren for another 200% melee. Yeah. All I do is face slam, and I have that extra bonus for a short time. Now, you can get this from Grave Ward, but it's a pretty tough one to farm. So keep that in mind. As for the shield, it looks very clean. Uh, white finish, and it's Hyperion, so it's got a lot of uh, edges on it. And it's very spiky. That's all I gotta say. It's very spiky. Alright, so I'm gonna spec into a melee build, and we'll go ahead and show it off. Okay, so now we're a full melee build, and in Mayhem mode, there's really not a whole lot of modifiers that ruin melee, which is kind of cool. And yeah, as you can see here, we are hitting for 45k, 25k, pretty awesome. And the cool thing about Amara is the fact that you can choose your element for your melee, so right now we're doing fire because, uh, you know, red health bar is flesh. Uh, as for shields, you kind of beat through those, but you can switch off to, um, you know, a different element if you want to. Okay, this Nog's kind of healing him. Let's take him out. Alright, better. And you are dead. Now, back in Borderlands 2, you could actually use grenades to break your shield. So you can still do that in this game too, which is kind of cool. Yeah, with a full melee build, melee Amara is pretty uh, pretty insane. The enemies just cannot do anything about it. Alright, this guy resists fire, but I don't care. We're still hitting for a lot. I want to see some big numbers. Hold on. 90k, there we go. <laughs> that is a very good amount. Oh my goodness, I love it. Alright, I could do this all day, but let's wrap up the video. Uh, final thoughts on the ward shield. It is your highest damaging melee shield right now. Now, you can run it with a hybrid build because you do get that 25% weapon damage when the shield is depleted, but that is up to you. Overall, it's a really good melee shield, and if you're doing a melee build, I would definitely recommend picking it up. So yeah, go ahead and pick it up and try it for yourself, guys. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.